Hey everyone, Mr. Sujano here. A new custom version of the 3DS emulator Citra has been released. Let's get started. Alright, to kick things off, if you like to play Nintendo 3DS games on Android, well, Citra is definitely the way to go, and there are a few different versions of this emulator. For example here, one of the most popular alternatives to the Google Play version of Citra is Citra MMJ. Citra MMJ is geared towards performance, so if you're struggling to run 3DS games on your Android device, you might want to check out Citra MMJ. This is 100% free, and it's something I highly recommend. I'll leave a link to the GitHub page in the description below. If you're wondering what MMJ stands for, it simply stands for subscribe to Mr. Sujano. Now this new alternative that was just released here is based off of Citra MMJ and it's called Citra Enhanced Beta 1. The creator of this emulator tweaker alternative here is the same person who created Dolphin 360, if you're familiar with that emulator alternative or tweak. Uh, so it is a little bit different here than Citra MMJ, and I'm going to leave a link to it in the description below. Feel free to check it out. Now, as of this video, because this might actually change in the future here, this is what Citra Enhanced currently offers. They ported the raster font of Citra MMJ, ported Citra QT CPU clock speed option from the PC version, ported Citra MMJ in-game configuration. All of these options so far don't make me excited about this version. Uh, number four, preliminary support for Mali processors. This might be a good one here. Uh, number five, opacity and touch controls. Number six, ported the FMV hack of Citra MMJ. Uh, number seven, Citra MMJ CPU usage limit option ported. And number eight, support for custom textures. Now at this point in time, I'm gonna be completely transparent with you. I'm not overly excited to read what Citra Enhanced is offering here. This seems I don't want to say bare bones because this is just a beta and they're probably going to add stuff in the future, but it doesn't really seem like anything that would sway me off of Citra MMJ. Now mind you, I am using a Snapdragon processor and here it says preliminary support for Mali processors. So if you're running a Mali device, you might want to check this out. So if you're a fan of 3DS emulation on your Android device, if your Android device is struggling to run 3DS, you might want to check out this APK and see how you like it because there's no harm, no foul here. It's 100% free. You might as well test it out. If you don't like it, it's not really a big deal, but this is just a beta, so it will improve in the future, hopefully. At the end of the day here, whether or not you use the official version of Citra on the Google Play Store or Citra MMJ, it's good to know of other versions that are out there, like Citra Enhanced here. Sometimes these mods or tweaks might have a feature that you really enjoy, and sometimes they don't. It's completely hit and miss here. Fortunately, it is 100% free, and it might be worth checking out. Anyways, that is all I've got for this video. Let me know your thoughts about Citra Enhanced in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts about Citra MMJ or the official version of Citra on the Google Play Store in the comments below. If you like this video, leave a like. If you didn't like this video, leave a like. Hit that subscribe button, check out my other videos. Thank you everyone, take care.